Welcome back to the Cop Kitchen. I'm Dave Sheppy. It's 10 days till Christmas 2019 and this is one of my favorite Christmas snacks. My Christmas mice. It's a great snack to make with your kids, your grandkids, whoever, for yourself. They are a little involved but the end result is really awesome. So without further Wait, it's only 10 days till Christmas and I'm not even decorated yet? Hang on a sec. You know how I like to do this. So now, all I have to do is get into my cooking clothes. Here we go. There we go. That's better. Wait. Wait a second. Not the right one. Hang on a second. Let me change one more time. There we go. Now we got the right cooking clothes on, so let's get cooking. Christmas mice. Do it with your kids, with your grandkids. Learn how to do it here in the cop kitchen. Love to make them, love to eat them. Merry Christmas 2019. Let's get started. Oh, don't get distracted. So the ingredients for these little critters, if you haven't already figured it out, will be Oreo cookies. They'll be separated. I'll show you how to do that. Some Hershey's Kisses. All of them will be unwrapped. We'll get into that. Some Maraschino cherries with stems. We have almonds. They are sliced almonds. I've put I've already put a pack in here. They're just easier to get to. And I'll show you why they need to be easy to get to and quick. And then some semi-sweet chocolate chips to be melted in what I use as a double toilet. And then I've just got some decorating gel that happens to be white. And these are gonna be for the eyes. And that's it for the ingredients. Let's put these little fellas together. So what I do first with the cherries is I will dump them into a strainer and I'll rinse them off with water and then I'll put them in a bowl lined with paper towel just to dry them off a little bit so that the chocolate will stick to them a little easier. So after you've rinsed them off and put them in the paper towels, you may have to pick through them to make sure you've got some good ones that still have the stems on them. All the ones that don't, you can either eat them or throw them away. So the next thing you're going to need to do is unwrap all the Hershey's Kisses. You're going to need 20 of them. And these are going to be the little creature's heads. So unwrap each one of them. But because of the magic of editing, as always, let's just get it done, shall we? Here we go. And there they are. So the first thing I do is I take a regular cookie sheet, a cookie pan, and I line it with aluminum foil. And then take your Oreo cookies and separate them and just with the cream on them or, the, or not you can lick the cream off but i wouldn't recommend putting on the tray and just keep doing that i'm going to do four across and five down for 20 little critters i've got some of the cookies already separated to make it a little easier if the cookie breaks when you're separating it just eat the broken one, of course, and then put the other side down. And just keep lining the tray with or without cream. The little mices don't care. Separate. And it won't make a difference at all. Again, a great little snack to make with the little ones, with your kids, grandkids, whoever, make them for yourselves, 
make them for an event. I can tell you this, they will be the talk of the dessert tray. Um, and you're gonna want, people are gonna wanna know how you did it. And you can tell them that you learned how to do it at Cop Kitchen, or you can just show them either way. So there you go. Line, next, we're gonna be dipping some cherries in chocolates. So into the double boiler and in the bottom, I just have a little bit of water. You don't want it touching the bottom of the pan. Heat your water, it'll start boiling and then just continually stir, stir it until your chocolate chips are, are melted and smooth. Now, of course, you can do this in the microwave if you want and know how to do that. I find that doing it this way and then taking the pan and the chocolate chips to my workspace it keeps the chocolate chips melted so that I can dip the cherries in. In the microwave, it seems like the chocolate cools a little too fast. Your choice, your decision. So it looks like it's done now. You don't want to cook it too long past the melt stage. So we'll take it off the heat now. So like I said, I like to leave my melted chocolate in the pot with the hot water under it. It keeps the chocolate melted longer, it seems like. So that's the way we're gonna do that. Next, I use a, a spoon and we just dip them, get the chocolates, uh, the cherries dip, like so. And then just put the cherries right on top of one of your cookie slices, your cookie halves. And just keep doing that. Quick and easy, as you can see, they're not all gonna be the same, which is fine. Some tails are a little longer. If you haven't figured it out, there's a tail. This batch of cherries that I've got right now just seems to be a good batch of cherries. Now, I would recommend that you go through the cherries because not all of them have stems and some of them might not look that great and you can just throw those ones away. However, the ones that don't have any stems on them, obviously, don't throw those away. Just dip those in chocolate, put them on a plate, and you've just got some homemade chocolate-covered cherries. And you should have enough chocolate here to do more than just the 20 that I'm doing. Um, and what I normally do is I'll do a couple rows and then we'll go to the Hershey's Kisses. And the Hershey's Kisses, if you haven't figured that out, will be the heads. And some of these tails are very short. And then you just pop a head on them. Make sure it makes contact with the chocolate, obviously, the melted chocolate, because that will act like a glue. And make sure you put it to the opposite side of the tail, if you haven't figured that out. Uh, I suppose you could put it on the side, but... And again, even the ones with the cream on them, left on them, they're fine. See where we're going with this, right? Some of the tails get in the way of the other mice. Sticking them in the... Well, they don't have any eyes yet. <laughs> we're working on it. Some of them are little tiny bodies. Some of them are bigger. Just like real life. All right, let's dip some more chocolates. Oh, we got a tail in the body. And we got a little tiny one. What a waste. Look at all this chocolate. That's okay. He's a little fella. He was on a diet. Wow, he's very tiny. All the way through. What a great holiday snack. Just keep in mind, uh, we are going to be using... Uh, sliced almonds once again 
keep in mind about peanut allergies, nut allergies. If you're taking these somewhere, make sure everybody knows that there are uh, uh, almonds on it. The cherries are good, but the stems are really tiny on this batch, which is fine. Oh, has a nice long tail on that one. So when I get done putting all the mouse heads on, the Hershey's Kisses, I will stick this in the, I almost said oven, no. You put it in the refrigerator for, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes, just so the chocolate firms up, and then we'll put the eyeballs on. Actually, we're gonna do ears next before the chocolate firms up. So we'll get to that in just a minute. I want to get ahead of myself. Oh, speaking of head, we need to put the heads on. And there we go. Doesn't take much to just connect them to the bodies like so. There's one that wants to be sideways. Good. And this little guy here, he needs some ears. All right, almost there. You like the Christmas music? It is Christmas time. And it's only got nine more days, 10 more days till Christmas. There we are, we're done with the chocolate. I think everybody's put together next what we'll do is we'll take the sliced almonds. Don't need that anymore. And you don't have to be perfect on this. Um, just like human beings, all of our ears are different. One may be bigger than the other. I think one of mine's bigger than the other. Uh, but you just stick them down in between the body and the head. Don't put them down in too far, you'll knock the head off and you'll just have a, a headless mouse. Um, again, just grab a couple pieces. Work quite a little quick because you don't want the chocolate to get too firm before you get to the end or you won't be able to stick their ears down in and then they won't be able to hear the cat coming after them. So there you go. Again, you can see them starting to shape up. Tell you kids, they don't have to be perfect. They can get creative. I do recommend that the ears go behind the head and not anywhere else. Well, might look a little weird, but and some of these little guys with the big ears. Perfect. And just keep doing that all the way through all of your mices, mices. Mouses. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you don't have to wait for me to get through this. So I'll be back in just a second when we're done. Okay, two more to go. And guys, go ahead and make these. They're easy to do. They're really cool. It takes a little time. Uh, longest is melting the chocolate, putting the ears on, but again, the end result is awesome. So there we go. I think I got all the ears on. They're starting to look like something. Right? 
Now I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and then we'll take a look at them when they come out and we'll put some eyes on them. I'll be right back. So it's been about 15 minutes and I put them in the freezer so they should be done by now. And they are. So here they are. I just took them out of the freezer. They've been in there for 15 minutes. The chocolate is all hardened up on them. And aren't they looking cute? The only thing they're missing is eyeballs. So let's put some eyeballs on them. Now I use the, like I said, the white gel. Need it a little bit to get it mixed. Take the cap off. If it's a new one, I have to cut the tip. I just take a little bit on the paper towels so that and I make sure that's mixed, and it is. And then just dab a little eyeball on. They don't have to be perfect. Like I said, one eyeball might be bigger than the other. Not a problem. Some might be really close together, like that one, or some might be farther apart. Doesn't matter. There are no mistakes in making these little Christmas mice. They're gonna come out perfect. Now, if you've got kids doing this, putting the eyeballs on, they can be quite creative. I recommend that they keep the eyeballs on the head part of the mouse. Um, but like I said, they can get creative. Now, I did make these one time and the person I made them with put one of them on a graham cracker and it was around Halloween so we made the graham cracker look like a mouse trap and then we took some string licorice and made it like the mouse was trapped in a mouse trap but the mouse wasn't hurt because obviously it was licorice we also used red gel instead of white and made it red-eyed because it was Halloween. So these can go for any season. These particular ones are for Christmas. And if they're a little cross-eyed, that's fine too. And this is the final step. Well, kind of the final step. I got another suggestion. I saw this done once with this particular project and these mice. And this is what they look like when they're done. They're little eyeballs. Whoops, can they move around? You gotta be careful because they get a life of their own. Yeah. Kinda cute. So, if you take one of these, now I found one year, I found some colored cellophane, the cling wrap type stuff, saran wrap type stuff. It was green and red. You take one mouse, and you, I couldn't find any for this season, put one mouse on the cellophane, then you wrap the cellophane loosely up around it, and then you put a ribbon on it and tie that, and that can be for an individual. You can just have an individual little mouse in his little, little cage, if you will. And you could also put a tag on there. You could put a tag on there and say um, something like, uh, Maddie, this mouse is for you, or Jackson, this mouse is for you. Um, Lennox, here's your mouse. And of course, Cameron, you're gonna need one too. So Cameron, here's your mouse. And you can individualize it. That's a cute thing to do. Red on it, green on it, tie a bow, put a ribbon, uh, tie a ribbon, put a bow on it, you're good to go. So there's the Christmas mice. Great snack for Christmas time. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe. And hit the like button. Give me a comment. The one thing you notice on here, I forgot to mention, the one thing you notice, there's no whiskers. So if you've made these before and you can figure out how to put whiskers on them, leave it down in the comment section. I've never figured out how to do that. Until next time, be safe out there. I'm 10-7.